Hello. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna make passion fruit sauce. Out of passion fruit. Out of passion fruit. Which looks like this. Can you see that? Can you smell it? Mm. It smells really good. It does smell really good. So, we're gonna just make a sauce that we put on everything, like fruit and... In drinks and on toast. It's really good. Spoonfuls of it directly into our we mouths. We get passion fruit at our farmer's market and it's cheaper than we found it anywhere else, so we got a lot of it. So we're gonna make some sauce. All right, let's do it. Ooh, this is the passion fruit. And this is what's inside of it. Oh, it smells so it good. It smells so good. The minute we took the lid off. <clears throat> so, passion fruit ha is basically a juice and a pulp with all of these little slimy seeds. You can eat the seeds. The seeds actually have oils in them that are really good for you, but Ryan doesn't like the texture of the seeds because they're kind of crunchy. So when I make this, I leave the seeds out, but you can leave them in if you end up liking them. Um, they have kind of like a little membrane around them, so to kind of break it up, I like to just blitz it really briefly in a blender or the rest of these up? a food processor. Yeah. Oh no! No! <laughs> Fall out! Okay. It's a sad thing. I'm gonna strain. Don't strain too hard. Precious juice. I don't lose any drop of this. This is not one of those cooking shows where they don't scrape the bowls. Which Sue yells at the TV every time she watches one. <laughs> they like dump it in and don't strain or don't scrape it. It's like you're wasting it. Right. Mm. Ah! Strain it down. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Looks like egg yolk. Doesn't it though? Mm. All right, done straining. Um, now I'm making a mess. Cool. I don't like to waste food and the seeds and the pulp that are on the seeds um, actually have a lot of good passion fruit essence in them. And so I like to soak the seeds in water and then just drink the water, almost like an aqua fresca, or use it in making smoothies, because it just kind of imparts a passion fruit essence. We've got about, what, like a cup? Two cups almost. Ooh. All right. So now, I'm going to add sugar. I'm actually gonna put it in a saucepan. On medium high heat. Oh, seed got through. Some seeds escaped. How did that happen? What is that? Cornstarch? Mm -hmm. And some water. I'm gonna make a slurry. Slurvy. Now I just stir until the sugar dissolves and the juice thickens. It smells like sunshine and happiness. It's gonna have a, it's, because I used raw sugar, because that's what we had in the cupboard instead of white sugar, it's actually gonna have a darker color than it typically does. Typically it has like, it keeps its bright yellow color, but because cane sugar has kind of like a maple-y sort of essence, or a kind of a molasses -y kind of essence, it's darker orange this time. 
once that cools down, it'll thicken up even more. And then it's like a, somewhere between a syrup and a sauce. Mm. Oh. No more heat. Can you imagine the, the syrup like on pancakes? Mm. That'd be good. like a tablespoon more of sugar. It's really tart. But look on the back of the spoon. It's really hot though. Mm. That's a pretty good thickness because it hasn't started dripping down. Cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of sugar. And then just Pink sea salt. Or pink. Why do we always say that? It's, it's not sea salt. It's pink Himalayan. The heat is still high enough to dissolve the sugar. We'll let it cool and put it in the fridge to store as needed, which. It'll go fast. We need it every day. We were waiting for passion fruit season to come back. We kept asking them. Do you think it's too hot to pour in here? No, it's not enough to thermal shock. Do you know how much I would cry if this glass it's shattered? shattered? Ugh, it'd be so sad. Um, all right, cool. All right. Bye. <laughs>